Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the Vrunt. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9 in the global version on Android. And today, I'm going to be driving the Acura NSX because I want to figure out... How far can it take me? That's right, it's another one of those episodes in which I test one car in multiplayer. And right now we have Ghost Slipstream. Which obviously it's a very specific type of gameplay in which you can bring some cars that may not necessarily always be amazing. Now, that's not to say that the Acura NSX isn't amazing. It's a surprisingly good car in Class C, but we're gonna talk more about it as we drive. However, just really quickly talking about the stats, um, for the top speed, it's pretty all right for Class C. As far as acceleration, it has really, really good acceleration. Handling and nitro are kind of like on the meh side. But all right, let's test it out in race. Now, as I always like to say whenever it comes to any type of videos I'm making on any one particular car, um, these are very subjective opinions that I'm going to give you in terms of these cars. But what I want to say about the Acura NSX is that I think it's possibly the best classic car that you can get easily in the game. Now, there's obviously better cars that you can also get in here, and even as a free play player, you can get. But in terms of cars that are easily available, this is probably amongst the best and the reason why I say that is not because this is the fastest, but because it has a very good balance between speed, acceleration, and just being okay at the rest of these stats. And for example, we can, in class C, you can get cars in regular packs, like for example, the um, Maserati Alfieri, right? And the Maserati Alfieri has much higher top speed than this. And it has much better nitro, but the acceleration does not compare. And then you can also go for insane acceleration beasts, like, <laughs> that's a pun. Uh, the Rizbani Beast X, which really accelerates also amazingly for Class C, and it's a somewhat more difficult car to obtain, but not especially complicated. And yet, that car is much slower than this. So that's why I say that the Acura NSX, in my opinion, it's probably amongst the best Class C cars that you can get quickly and easily in the game. And by that, I just mean by playing and getting the regular blueprint packs, that's the best way in which you can acquire this car or you can also buy blueprints for this thing on the legend store but unless you find them for credits don't spend tokens on this it's just not worth it because it's such an easy car to get that shouldn't be a problem so right for the first race i beat an Acu another accurate in a sex avenger sart which is a much much faster it's amongst the fastest cars in class c but it's much more difficult to acquire and we got the 599X X Evo, uh, BMW i8, Shelby, Camaro Z01, and a Mercedes Benz 2020 showroom. And the newest car, the one in the um, drive syndicate. And just like that, in one race, we got all the way to Silver League. Again, in case you didn't notice, I hadn't played a single race at that point when, well, when I started the video. So, hey, first race with the NSX. Pretty decent result, I would say. And yeah, yeah. Rewards. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the rewards. Holy moly. All right. I got a bunch of miles to go. But anyway, let's keep going. And now, since over here we're playing specifically Ghost Slipstreams, it slipstream, it means that cars with low nitro is where it's gonna shine the most. Because if you are behind some other player, you're gonna be getting a lot of nitro from them. So this is a place where the NSX can shine. But as I was saying, this is not the type of car that oh it's only good in this mode. No, actually, I think in classic it's equally as good as it is in Ghost. I would say that this is probably amongst the best balanced class C cars that you can get easily. And again, remember, all of this is our subjective opinions. All right. So, of course, you can disagree with me, but the point that I'm trying to make is that this is, and this is actually why I wanted to make a video with this car, because I could have brought, you know, once I am in Ghost Slipstream, which is a mode that I can enjoy quite a bit, there's no knockdowns, um, I could have brought a variety of cars, right? Maybe I could have brought the, um, the Venser Sarth, I could have brought the, because the Venser Sarth, along with the, ah, what's the other one called? I forgot. Uh, uh, um, Arinera Husaria are incredibly fast cars in this class and they absolutely benefit massively from Ghost to Slipstream. And I could have made videos on those, but I decided to make a video on this car because, again, it's such a basic car that a lot of people may not even pay attention to it. And it truly, truly, truly can do some great stuff. This acceleration is really, really good. So, I got defeated by a much faster car, I think. What was it? Oh yeah, look at that, the Arenera Husari, what, the one that I was talking about, is much faster. So of course, if I make a video with that car, then I have a better chance of getting better results. But look at that, I beat another bunch of NSXs, another Hustaria, and a Viper. Yeah, the Viper is not a good car for this game, not at all. 
Now for this race, I saw a couple of Pininfarinas H2, which is a very popular car in Classy, also very strong also, but strong for different reasons. I think it's faster than my car, but it accelerates considerably slower. Now, it's still a very good car. H2, it's another car that I would say is amongst the best that you can... Oh, what's going on with the floor? Why does it look stained? Oh, I think I'm having a graphic glitch right now. Oh, well. Um, it is also one of those cars that are relatively easy to get for beginners in the game and it's very strong but like i said it's strong for different people um yet i would not i would have a very hard time recommending one of these cars over the other i just think they, they have different strength but you can go wrong with either so those are if you're a new player in this game and you're barely starting to acquire some cars and you're seeing the classic cars and you're like oh i don't know what to go for focus on either one of these two cars and you're gonna be great now if you want to get some easier results, you can always focus on the Viper um, ACR because I think it's amazing given the, the nitro weight and whatnot. But given how this game leans a lot towards the type of cars that are a bit more difficult to drive, that are not as lenient with insane nitro durations as the Viper, it is a good thing to start practicing with cars that are not that forgiving. But either way, um, Ooh, look at that. Oh, he made a mistake and I was able to get past him. Can I do a perfect metro with you? And get all my speed. Let's go, Baba! Listen, I may not be winning, but that recovery was pretty dope. Holy moly, just like that I got into the Gold League. What is that? Three races and I'm in Gold League? Well, I guess we wanted to find out. How far can it take me? I had to do it. <laughs> Alright, so I got beaten by a Class B car, the Aston Martin Vantage GT12. But I did beat the Pininfarina, the Viper, NSX, another Pininfarina, another NSX, and the Alfieri that I was talking about. Really fast car. So that car already has insane nitro, so it's not as important. Look at that. Yep, just a couple of, well, three races and I got to the Gold League, so... Nice! I guess it comes to show that it, it is a powerful car. Now, don't mind me if I sound like I'm a little bit exhausted. I had to run out for a second while I pause the video. It's fine. Ooh, and I'm getting a bunch of the green coins. I need them for my Invincible. I'll make a video at some other point about that. But anyway, so Gold League. That means I'm going to start facing against more Class B cars. Let's see how we do. Okay, now this is where things are going to get a bit more challenging because I'm seeing a bunch of, unsurprisingly, um, Corvette Grand Sports. I think I saw a couple or at least one Hurricane and then there's me. So <laughs> we'll see. Now, for example, the, the Corvette Grand Sport. Oh, and I'm at the front, so I'm giving all the nitro to everybody. Nice. Um, that was sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> the the Corvette Grand Sport is not that much faster. I mean, it is faster for sure, but it's not that much faster than my car. And my car does accelerate better, but of course, the Grand Sport does have a lot of nitro. But just like I was saying about the Maserati Alfieri, it, generally speaking, when you're playing in Ghost Slipstream, having insane nitro, it's only helpful or beneficial if you're in the front of the pack so that you can sustain your own nitro. But chances are is that you're not going to be at the front of the pack in every single race. So in general, bringing those type of cars isn't necessarily the best situation because the, the rank of the car is affected uh, or influenced, I suppose, affected by your stats, right? So if you bring a car that has insane nitro, it probably is not as good at all the things. And yeah, maybe it doesn't have the best uh, handling or the best whatever. So you're, you're basically wasting the, the the rank of the car, to say it in some way. I don't know if I can explain it properly. Uh, come on, come on, give me the jump, give me the jump. Acceleration, come on, let's go. Fifth place, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take the fifth place. It was a bit of a difficult race, because this is a very twisty track, and um, this car isn't necessarily the best for twisty tracks. But hey, I got defeated by the Grand Sport Hurricane, Grand Sport, Grand Sport, but I did beat a 48 GTB. Usaria and another Grand Sport who quit in the middle of the race for some reason. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Huh, and suddenly I get thrown into a lobby where there's only Class C cars, so okay, maybe I'll, I'll do better this time. Um, but yeah, I should also mention that I'm recording this right at the very, well not at the very, very, very start, but considerably early in the season. Um, you could say that the, the later it is in the season, the easier opponents you're gonna find it in the lower ranks and that is obviously because the more experienced people that have better cars and whatnot are already gonna oh jesus i hit the invisible wall um the more experienced players with better cars and whatnot are gonna be already in higher leagues so that's why normally you end up finding the somewhat easier opponents later in the in the season 
But I did want to record this at this point because precisely I wanted to see just how bad or good or whatever in general this card can do against the natural op opposition, my natural opponent that I'm going to be finding. Um, I think probably because the last race went pretty bad for me. I lost just enough points to put me on the threshold between um, the people that are going to be demoted from the Gold League and the people that are going to be promoted in the Silver League. So that's probably why I just ended up ended up finding right now a bunch of Class C opponents as opposed to some in Class B. But come on. Oh, I lost a ton of speed there, but no worries. First place, my bird! I'm telling you, this car is really strong. Really, really strong. Beating uh, Pinin Farina, Avenger Sarth, uh, and a bunch of NSXs. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the most spammed car that would probably go to the Dodge Viper, but in this particular season, it makes sense that people are driving this car because just good. And checking my ranking. No, I'm actually still... The threshold, by the way, uh, what I was talking from the people in silver that are going to go up and the silver, that are, the gold that are going to go down, is between 1200 to 1250. So when you're in that threshold is when you can bring a bunch of class B cars to compete against class, compete against class C. That's kind of how it normally works. But I'm not there. I'm higher than that. So I don't know why. Maybe it was just blind luck to get into that lobby because it just seems a little weird that I got there. Uh oh. And now we're in a top speed oriented track and I see at least an Apollo and a Hurricane. These are going to absolutely destroy me. The, the Hurricane is already faster than my car. The Apollo N is way, 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 way faster than my car. So if I can at least beat the C-Class opponents, that would be good enough. But yeah, obviously right now I am playing, let's say in hard mode, because I'm bringing a car that it's not amazing for competing against Class B. It's not necessarily a very fast car to begin with. And then I bring it against Class, class B. Now I had, had accelerated them because yes, like I said, the acceleration on this thing is really, really, really strong. Especially for a Class C car, but yeah, this is gonna go away as soon as we get some more space because obviously it's when people are gonna be able to reach their top speeds and that is that. Now, where is the Apollo in? That is a question that I have right now because I would expect that to be in front of everybody and yet I don't see it. Nah, it'll get there. For now, I'm having a bit of a fight with that Hurricane. Let's see if by any magical chance I can get the better of him. Probably not. <laughs> Hurricane, by the way, has really great acceleration anyway. So even with... Oh, oh there, there it is. There's the Apollo end. What did I say? Uh, <coughs> but yeah, the Hurricane already has insane acceleration anyway. So in that sense, it's not that I have anything in particular that I can say, oh, my car is better than the Hurricane. And in this particular scenario, no, it's not. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to fall. Oh, man. Well, they didn't go for the jump, strangely. You know what? A third place? Wait a second. Maybe I got beaten by the Class B and I be did beat all of the Class C's? I'm not sure. Yeah, the Hurricane and the Apollo. How did the Apollo win not win? Oh, you know what? It's not fully upgraded. That would explain it. No, okay. Yeah, there's a big difference. But I did beat all the Class C ones, so that makes me happy. Oh, and look at what this person brought. A beautiful, beautiful car. Okay, at this point, I'm really punching way above my weight over here. Look at that. There's the Apollo N. I see an Apollo IE, Essence ICV, Hurricanes. Uh, there's the Apex AP0. So, yeah, I'm going to get destroyed over here. But, you know, that is the point to figure out how... F okay, you know what, I'm, what I was about to say. By the way, if we're going to get a heart and a pin in this video, you need to leave me the key phrase. That is a comment that you put in the comment section. And the key phrase for today is going to be... The NSX lose looks amazing by itself but if you make it into a gt3 it looks so much better first person to post it gets the heart the pin anybody else that posted afterwards is only going to get a heart so there you go i'm implementing that system of key phrase that i use in my asphalt Day videos in my asphalt line videos because why not it's it's fun to do. but yeah unsurprisingly i'm gonna end up in a very bad position in this race because honestly at this point i don't think there was a single c-class car other than maybe maybe i saw a um a, a a what's it called oh i should have gone for the jump my bad why do you keep forgetting the name of that car the arenera husaria i think maybe i saw arenera husaria but like i said that is a much stronger car than this so yeah in general i wouldn't be surprised if that also defeats me but you know, at the end of the day, we're finding out what this car can do, and it definitely didn't have any problems to get out, to, to allow me to get out of the Silver League. It could no problem compete even against um, 
other higher ranked cars simply because again this car is very strong in what it can do and uh, yeah even if it's not the fastest in classic which again in closest slipstream you want to go for the fastest car but even then like like i was trying to show over here the fastest isn't everything all the time so yeah i'm basically oh wait a second mc20 ah so yeah there's the apex hurricane oh it's an isan r yeah it's that's very fast even at a low rank apollo n ie essenza i did beat the mc20 so i that's a w I'm, I'm gonna say yeah sure and by the way i forgot to show you the stats of the car um in terms of my upgrades in case you were curious basically i have it at max meaning uh four stars everything upgraded and one single epic import part applied nothing else so there you go that is that is how i have the car right now I, at some points i think did i did i make a mistake on making this series because what's funny about this series is that I, I, it can start strong because i'm racing with the car where it's supposed to oh geez why did i do that um it wasn't on purpose really <coughs> Um, I start with good results because, of course, it's racing against its natural competition. But the further I go into the races in this series, the worse results I get because, of course, I'm pushing the car towards where it normally would not compete. In this case, look at that. Everything is Class B. Much, much better Class B. It's not like I'm racing against, oh, low, bad Class B cars. No, I'm not. I'm racing against Le Creme de la... whatever, however that goes. So, yes, um... Unsurprisingly, not the best results, but hey, hey, the car is still pretty damn good, I tell you that much. And at the end of the day, that is the whole point of this series, to explore a bit of these cars. Like I said, uh, I'm driving it maybe not in the in the best, honestly. Oh, wait a second, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I steal that place? Can I at least not finish last? Come on, come on, come on! Someone plays my bad! <laughs> um... Yeah, we get, we get to the point where a 7th place is still good. Look, the Ferrari F12 TDF is not a fantastic car in Class B, but it is damn quick. So the fact that I was able to beat it, it already is good enough. But yeah, overall, like I said, I'm pushing the car to where it should normally not compete. So whatever result I get, it's a decent result, I guess. I don't know, whatever. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have more suggestions to which car to use or to drive in a... How far can it take me? Episode, then let me know in the comments. But that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.